queen of all shortbread cookies, butter pecan. Some people call them pecan sandies. Um, this is a very delicious cookie. I'm going to start off with two sticks of room temperature butter, which is equal to one cup, and you can see how soft it is. It's a very warm day here today. And to that, I'm going to add two-thirds of a cup of regular granulated sugar. Um, just maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Salt brings out flavor in a lot of things. And I'm going to add two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. One. Two in a drip. That's good. Now we're going to put this in the mixer and blend it nicely. It's creamed up. Lock it in. And then I have here two cups of flour and one cup of very finely chopped pecans that we're going to add to this in just a second as soon as this is all creamed up. spatula. I always like to wipe down my sides here. Ensures that everything gets mixed together well. And I'm going to add the pecans. Pecans are a very fragrant nut. Very distinctive smell. Now, what we're going to do with these is we're going to form these into small cookies on a cookie sheet, and then we're going to we're going to roll them in sugar first, and then form them into cookies on a cookie sheet, and we're going to bake them in a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Okay, that's it. Shortbread cookies are really one of the easiest cookies to make, and one of the most delicious. I've got a couple of cookie sheets here. I use parchment paper on my cookie sheets. Um, I like the way it uh, bakes and you can throw it away later and you don't have a dirty cookie sheet. If you want to use Silpat, that's my second choice. Third choice is greasing the pan, but that's just an awful lot of dishes later on. So I've got a small scoop. You can make these any size you want. I used to make them much bigger than this, but I like the, the smaller cookie. Roll it up. Roll it in regular white sugar. Put it on your cookie sheet. I like to start mine out a bit by flattening it. And then to top it, here is that coarse sanding sugar that you can buy in any place where they sell cookie supplies. And I put some of that on each cookie. I'll just keep making cookies until I fill up my sheets. And then we'll get them in that 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes. our butter pecan cookies out of the oven after about 15 minutes. Very, very, very hot. You really need to let these cool down before you even try taking them off the sheet because it's such a delicate cookie. There's so much butter in there, it would just fall apart. So if you give it about five minutes or so, it'll be perfect. <laughs> 